In this example, we'll find all solutions to the equation x times cosine of x is equal to 2 times cosine of x. So looking at this equation, we notice that x's are on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation. We also notice that we have a cosine of x on both sides of the equation as a factor. Uh, we want to make sure that we do not fall into the trap of dividing each side by cosine of x here because we would be losing solutions. We would have to also consider then uh, when is cosine of x equal to zero because if that's the case then uh, we couldn't divide by it. That would be dividing by zero. So really the best approach um, on such an equation here is to be able to um, use addition and subtraction to get everything on one side uh, equal to zero and then factor and set each factor equal to zero. So that's going to be our approach. If we um, try to get all of the x's onto the left hand side here, we have the x cosine of x that's so already there and we would have sub we would have minus 2 times cosine of x by uh, subtracting 2 cosine of x from both sides so that we now have um, the right hand side equals to 0. So there we have two terms now on the left hand side, they're separated by that subtraction sign. And so x cosine of x and then minus 2 cosine of x, those two factors or those two um, terms would have the greatest common factor of cosine of x. So when we pull cosine of x out, we are left with the x minus 2. And so now we have factored that left hand side. We have cosine of x times x minus 2 equals 0. So we solve this equation by setting each factor equal to 0 and solving. So we have cosine of x is equal to 0. Um, and just so that I don't forget um, this second factor, we need to remember that we also have x minus 2 equal to 0. And actually, that one's super easy to solve, so we'll go ahead and do it. Um, add 2 to both sides, we get x equals 2. Okay, so now um, let's work with the one that is a little bit more involved. We need all solutions to cosine of x is equal to zero. To do that, this equation, I go back to my unit circle and I remember that uh, the cosine function, um, when we're dealing with the unit circle, those would be the x coordinates of uh, the points on the unit circle. So we're asking where are the x coordinates, um, what points on the unit circle have x coordinate equal to 0 and we know that's going to be at the top of our unit circle and the bottom of our unit circle. So there are lots of different ways to represent um, these two points on the unit circle as far as angles go. Um, if we take just between 0 and 2 pi we would have um, pi over 2 for the one on the top of the unit circle, we'd have 3 pi over 2 for the one on the bottom of the unit circle, but we want um, all representatives of uh, these points. And um, with the symmetry here we know that these two points are pi apart. And so really, if we just pick one of these representatives, um, we could catch all solutions if we just add um, multiples of pi. And so our answer here would be x is equal to, I'm going to pick the one on the top of the unit circle there, pi over 2, and then I'm going to catch all solutions by adding uh, multiples of pi, um, integer multiples of pi. So we will say uh, plus k pi, where k is an integer. And so those would be the remaining solutions to our original equation.